Welcome to our lecture online. So here what we're going to do is use a slightly different form of the Dirac delta function. Here we have the integral of some function which we defined here as x squared plus 2. And now we're multiplying times the delta function but not delta function of x but delta function of x minus a dx. So we're going to evaluate that integral and then afterwards we're going to let a equals 3 to see what that actually means but here we need to realize what we mean by the delta function when it's written like this of x minus a again the delta function equals infinity if what's inside the parentheses here is equal to 0 so if I let x equals 0 then it'll take the delta function of minus a which is not 0 so therefore hmm that means that this is equal to 0 for all values when x is not equal to a so here we're not setting it equal to 0 here we know that the, the delta function is equal to 0 when x is not equal to a and it's infinity when x equals a let's see if that makes sense if we let x equal a we have a minus a which is 0 and then we have our typical delta function again the delta function of 0 is of course infinity that's why this happens when x equals a not when x equals 0 so now when we look at our delta function over there inside our integral we can say that this must be equal to the integral from minus infinity to positive infinity of the function evaluated a times the delta function of x minus a dx because remember at any other value than x equals a the delta function is equal to zero so it only has a value any meaning when the function is evaluated at a times that particular delta function and then we realize that this becomes a constant so this is equal to the function evaluated a which is a constant times the integral from minus infinity to positive infinity of the delta function of x minus a times dx but now we realize that we let x equals a so therefore since x equals a we can simply replace this by a and then we can say that this is equal to the function evaluated a times the integral from minus infinity to infinity of the delta function of 0 dx and of course we know what this is equal to this is equal to 1 so this becomes f the function at a times 1 which is simply the function evaluated at a so you can see that we can actually use the delta function to not only evaluate the function the given function at x equals 0 but we can evaluate the function for any value of x by using this form of the delta function now if we let x equals or a equals 3 we get the following so now if we want to evaluate the function f of x times the delta function of x minus 3 dx from minus infinity oops too many minuses here from minus infinity to positive infinity so what is that equal to question mark well that will be equal to the integral from minus infinity to positive infinity of the function f of in this case x will be 3 because we want to put it a in there but since a is 3 we want to evaluate the function at x equals 3 times the delta function of 3 minus 3 dx which essentially is equal to the function evaluated at 3 times the integral from minus infinity to infinity of the delta function evaluated 0 dx and of course we already know that's equal to 1 so this is equal to the function evaluated x equals 3 and since we know the function this would be 3 squared plus 2 which is 9 plus 2 which is 11 and so in that case the result of taking this integral of the function multiply times the delta function of x minus 3 we get the result equal to 11 and that is how it's done